Hey guys, so someone on Facebook requested that I do a video on my updated hamster story. So basically like how I ended up with six hamsters. So my previous video on this um, was about how I ended up with my other hamsters, Cookie Monster, Elmo, Speedy, Ziggy and Coco. Um, so basically I still have Ziggy and Coco, so I'll just quickly explain how I got them. So I got Ziggy because... I went into Pets at Home for dog food with my parents and I am like a real big fan of adopting so I went to look at the adoption centre um, in Pets at Home and Ziggy was sitting in there and basically he was trying so hard to get out of the tank that he was in. Um, so on the tanks they have like a little sort of metal thing about that thick um, where the doors slide across and he was trying so hard to get over that and it was just so funny and I was standing there, my mum was standing there and we turned around to look at my stepdad and he already walked off, we didn't, we couldn't find him and he already went to talk to a member of staff about bringing Ziggy home with us and me and my mum were like totally shocked because of we didn't even know what he was up to so Ziggy came into the adoption centre like an hour before I went into the shop so it was like fate really because he was the only hamster in there and he didn't have a name or he didn't even have a adoption ID number thing so they had to sort all that out and we all decided on a name to put on his paperwork um, because they have to have like paperwork for every single adoption pet in Pets at Home so we all decided on the name Ziggy so that's pretty much how I ended up with him so I ended up with Coco because I bought Cookie Monster, one of my old hamsters, a new cage, which means I had a iMac Fantasy Spare. So I set up Cookie Monster's cage because if I was at college when it was arrived, so my mum took it in for me. I set up Cookie's cage when I got home and my parents phoned me because they weren't in. They phoned me like a couple of hours after I got home and they said to me, you better not be putting that old iMac cage on eBay and I was like no not yet I'm still setting up Cookie's cage and they said well you better set up the iMac because we've just bought you a new hamster so I didn't even get to see Coco in the shop my parents picked her and we did buy her from a baby um, just because there was no hamsters in the adoption centre and my parents wanted me to have a baby hamster because of all of my previous hamsters were adoption center hamsters so we all agreed on Coco because at the time she was chocolate colour and now she's gone ginger so the name doesn't really suit her that much anymore but I'm not going to change it because if she actually responds to her name so that's how I ended up with Coco so I ended up with Humbug one of my newest hamsters because of Cookie Monster passed away and basically it just broke my heart sitting staring at the hamster heaven um, it was just so awful and I was planning on getting a new hamster like a couple of weeks after to let it sort of settle about the fat cookie monster passed away and I came home from college and I came up to my room because my parents went to pick up some Fitch bedding for me so I was sorting out my bedroom to fit that all in there and my parents came home about two hours after I got home and said to me you might want to go look in the hamster heaven cage because we saw something weird in there before and um, lo and behold there was a hamster sitting there staring at me in the face and um, my parents thought well we'll buy humbug before I get home so that hopefully when I walk into my bedroom I would see her straight away but I didn't because I don't like looking in the hamster heaven because it was empty so she went for like two hours um, unnoticed in her cage but my parents gave her like food water bedding and everything so she was comfortable so um my mum was gonna like not tell me but because of it, it was so long um she'd gone unnoticed they did actually tell me and I was gonna call her Pingu until my stepdad just randomly shouted out humbug and then I looked it up on the internet and found out they were boiled sweets which were like black and white striped and I thought that suited her really well so we ended up calling her Humbug. So then I ended up with Snowball and Blizzard because of Cookie Monster, not Cookie Monster, Elmo and Speedy passed away 
um, like a week after Cookie, so Speedy got put to sleep at the vet's and Elmo passed away um, for a unknown reason. Um, I'm not too sure why she passed away, but she was um, showing signs of a swollen stomach and then she started bleeding that morning and basically they passed away anyway. Um, so I went into Pets at Home like four or five days after they passed away I think and I wanted to go in to find some little Mr. Men treats that you get for dogs because they were selling them at like 20p a packet or something in Pets at Home. Um, and my parents walked in the pets at home, went straight over to the hamsters, and I was like, guys, dog stuff is that way. And they just completely ignored me, so I walked over to the hamsters. And because I like adopting, I walked past the adoption centre. They didn't have any hamsters in the adoption centre. Um, so they decided we're going to look around the hamsters. And uh, I saw a really cute robo, um, but then I saw Snowball and Blizzard. And my mum was like, I'll buy you another hamster if you want. So um, it was really hard to decide between the both of them. So I ended up just getting both. So my parents paid for one and I paid for the other. So that's pretty much how I ended up with them. It was totally a mistake. I wasn't even planning on getting more hamsters. Um, I posted on Facebook saying I'm not getting no more hamsters for a while. And um, a couple of days after I posted it, I ended up coming home with two hamsters anyways. So... Snowball and Blizzard are brothers, um, but they don't live in the same cage because if I don't want fights breaking out because Blizzard is a bully and Snowball is really, really laid back. Um, so, and then last of all, Munchkin. So, I ended up with Munchkin because I recently bought Ziggy a new cage. Um, and the day I bought his cage... Um, my parents had to go pick it up like a couple of days later so they travelled all the way there to go pick it up for me and on the way back they went into pets at home and I didn't even know about it until they came home with a hamster um, I totally like wasn't expecting it at all well I was kind of because my parents were like well what hamster would you get next if you could have another one and I was like well a robo or a Chinese and they were basically went into pets at home and picked out a hamster for me so they got munchkin because of she was the only female robovoski left in the um, shop um, they didn't have adoption ones I don't think um, I can't remember what my parents said anyway but apparently they decided to get munchkin because she's a challenge um, basically she's the last robovoski female one in there because of she's really really untamed nobody can touch her um the guy apparently in pets at home spent about 10 minutes trying to catch her and he couldn't even pick her up and he literally just had to hoard her straight into a box um so yeah they came home with a cage and a hamster so um totally unexpected really but she ended up with her name because my stepdad said i've already got a name for her and I was like, what is it? He goes, Munchkin. And I was like, well, why Munchkin? And he goes, look at her and you'll find out. And apparently she looks like a Munchkin. Um, I don't think she does. I've never seen a Munchkin, so I don't know what one of them is. But I thought the name was cute, so I stuck with it. Um, no, way. actually, my mum was the one to say to call it Munchkin. My stepdad wanted to call it Munch. But I thought Munchkin was better. So we ended up calling it her Munchkin. And... Um, yeah, that is pretty much the story how I ended up with six hamsters. It's pretty crazy at times, but I manage um, quite easily. It's been hard trying to get into a routine to manage six hamsters at once, but it's totally worth it though. You know, all my spare time goes on them. I pretty much don't have a social life. Um, I don't get on with anyone where I live, so I turn to my pets. So basically my parents let me have so many hamsters because of... I obviously don't get on with anyone and I'm not from around here so I do get bullied quite a lot because I'm an outsider um, and I've been miserable for like ages living here so they were like the hamsters make you happy don't they and I was like yeah and apparently I've changed since I've had them so before I used to be like really quite violent 
um, towards people and now apparently I have completely changed and I'm a nice happy person apparently so um, yeah that is why I have so many hamsters in case any of you are wondering it's not because of I just get animals for the sake of getting animals it's not like that um, I get them because of I could give them a good home and they make me happy all my spare time goes on them all my money goes on them and then you know I'm even trying to help other people care for their animals better by posting videos on the internet for some bizarre reason um, so yeah anyways I'm gonna go now and stop babbling so thank you for requesting a video I can't remember who requested it but I'll put the names right down below in the description bar um, if you want to contact me you can contact me on my pets Facebook page so I have made a page especially for my pets so you can like add me as a friend and everything so I want to kind of keep my personal life and the pets life separate because of people don't know about YouTube um, so yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye